So there's Sega. <laughs> I didn't know this was a Sega <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah, this is a Sega game. Um, okay. So technically they own the IP partially, and the other company that owns it is Platinum Games, which is an unbelievable, like, good sort of dev studio. Cryware is the engine it's built in. Okay. <laughs> so what are we playing? So <laughs> we'll watch the cutscene. It's this Dark Souls. It looks a little like Dark Souls. <laughs> Huh. Welcome to Waifu Month, by the way. <laughs> uh, is this a wedding? Like a satanic wedding? Uh, this is like a satanic Oh, this is a satanic court. divorce. <laughs> you know, this is a courtroom. <laughs> this is somebody being judged for shit. Is this our waifu? Uh, no. That lake is our waifu. <laughs> hmm. So, it, for people who've course? never for people who've never played this game, they're probably still very confused about what this game is. I know what we're playing, and I'm confused. That's fine. B a y o n e t t a, Bayonetta. <laughs> We've literally never played Bayonetta. Uh, yeah, I've been excited to do this because we planned out Waifu Month uh, on Black Friday. A few months ago, yeah. Yeah, there was a Steam sale looking through everything. We were like, oh, this is about a waifu for many people. Yeah, so we're going to we're gonna try and uh, play this. I'm just going to check options real fast. Make sure controller's uh, okay. Controller's fine, yeah. Camera... Normal camera invert axis. I uh, never remember which is which. Yeah, you can never remember either. Uh, I want to see if there's like a, an option for subtitles. And it's it's default on. That's nice. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to... I guess we'll just start then. I... All right. Okay. So I like uh, the weird fading in and out. There's something yeah, retro it's, it's about really that. It's really nice, right? It feels it's like a PS1 It's not nice game. and I like it. Yes. <laughs> Um, I think the original Bayonetta, if I remember correctly, was released on... It's a PS3 and an Xbox 360 game, okay. if I remember correctly. Um, and it pissed a lot of people off when Bayonetta 2 was announced uh, exclusively for Wii U. And Bayonetta 3 is now exclusively a Switch game, which means that Bayonetta is just straight up Nintendo's property. <laughs> I mean, she's in Smash. Yeah. They don't technically own the IP, but they own the rights to Bayonetta 2 and 3 because mm -hmm. they they produced it they funded the entirety yeah of the game. we we're playing this through steam so clearly <clears throat> they don't have complete exclusivity to bayonetta one no 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 no. yeah bayonetta one can be released on anything but two and three can only be released on nintendo consoles for now anyway uh, we'll one by the way was released on switch and wii u but we wound up getting this version because it's uh, closer sale. to the original and it was on sale yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> this title uses an auto save feature please do not turn off the system while auto saving we won't we'll try not to Difficulty. <laughs> um, Normal. Oh, God. It, it goes all the way down to very easy automatic. Easy automatic. Normal. Is that like auto and then aim? I can't go any higher than normal. Oh, you gotta So you have to unlock it. hard difficulty. <laughs> oh. You know a game's good when you have to unlock hard. <laughs> In a universe of light and dark where perception is reality. This looks like Dark Souls. Like, that sounds like a Dark Souls so, line. I have heard uh, that you should not uh, expect anything of these cutscenes. They are very artistic. Like, this is abstract? Not quite abstract, but it's like there's there's some stuff going on with these. Uh, not even this one, just, just some oh, of the later cutscenes. Stage. This is like a cutscene cutscene. Like yeah, this this, this is literally a oh hey I'm moving already. Oh, so let's see. There's a kick. Uh, that's my jump. Uh, that's oh god, is that just that's guns? Okay. I I've literally never played this, so I'm I'm gonna suck quite a bit. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm entirely trying to focus on what they're saying, and it's very difficult. It's it's a third person game. Okay, that's my launcher. Fuck. Third person action is like a weird genre for me where it's like usually I know how to play it, but I'm not great at it. <laughs> like it really depends. I don't even have a health bar right now. I'm assuming I, I eventually get one, but I actually don't know. <laughs> 
this might be a game where you just kind of have to, you know, figure it out. Maybe there's no health bar because there's only one hit. Uh, I've been hit multiple times, oh, okay. I can tell you right now. I'm just gonna kick this man. So it's like witches versus angels or something? Yeah. Interesting that they're very specific that it's Europe, like Earth Europe. Yeah. I like that. I don't know, I like fictional worlds, because you can you get a lot of freedom with that. Well, yeah, but you, clearly this is still a fictional world. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I like real-world places when they become fictional places on top of that. I'm not controlling this. I don't know how you would control this, perspective-wise. Uh, probably just jump with uh, specific commands, and then the movement would be automatic. Okay. Yeah. Quick time events. Oh boy. That thing looks fun to fight. Which thing? The thing in the background? Oh yeah, no, right? The big dragon? I guess there's dragons involved in whatever that is. Uh, if, I was if looking these at the are, face. If these are actual angels, yes, there are dragons involved. Victory. People forget that there are dragons in the Bible. That's just a thing. The witch's dark yeah. You think there's only, like, four of those in the world and Kaiba ripped one up? Maybe. Rounding the battle-weary witches with little resistance and subjugating those who... I wouldn't be surprised. The thing that I don't like about fictionalizing places but using real names is that you know 100% that's not how it happened, as opposed to being able to say in the back of your mind, oh, in another alternate reality, this was just like, no, yeah. I know where Europe is. It doesn't look like this, I think. <laughs> but it's like, oh, you tell me this shit's happening in the fucking witch dimension on Planet Witch Angel. It's like, oh, yeah, tell me all about Planet Witch Angel. I like this person we're fighting with. <laughs> yeah. She, I don't even think she's been named yet. Uh, it's Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2. <laughs> Unbrin Tears of Blood. I like that it's a crow. I think that's an item. Did we pick up an item? I don't know. Present so that took, day? that took place in the past. And this is present day. Buffalo of Blood. <laughs> was that even a buffalo skull? <laughs> yeah, it was. This is the present day? <laughs> yeah. Apparently... <laughs> We're okay. going to kick that door off and we're just going to start, like, skateboarding down through San Francisco. <laughs> Pope Captain in the world of tomorrow. I guess. I don't remember anything about that movie, Sky Me Captain. Neither. Me neither. I've seen it. I remember that there's a lady in it so and a are, guy. Are these the guys who were, like, connected to the angels? Or are these actual, like, just religious guys? <laughs> Because this is a weird depiction of just, like, general religion, I, I think. I mean, from the lighting and the posture of those guys and the hoods, I would just as easily say that those were Satan worshippers. <laughs> Except if you're a witch, I, I think, th like, the character like this is supposed to be the, the, the like, the Satan worshippers or something. I don't know enough. That's, that's my issue. Well, okay, oh, so I love this save menu. This is nice. You can roll your saves. Yeah. Yes. How how far does it go? It also said it has an auto save. Thirty. Though, so. Uh, yeah. So it's it's probably there's an auto save function. Like there's like uh, a single file for a cached save. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Um, that would make sense. Uh, so the vestibule. <laughs> I don't even know what a vestibule is. I probably do and just don't remember. I I'm kind of liking this so far, but I'm not really understanding anything. <laughs> I like that the loading screen had double helixes of Satan letters, or whatever that was. Yeah, the Satan DNA. <laughs> Developed by Team Little Angel. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> uh, Platinum Games. Established, Established 2006. 2006. Good year. Yep. That yeah, is a good it, year. It was actually a pretty good year. I graduated that year. Uh, cinematic director Yuji Shimomura. 2006, literally peak high school for me. <laughs> Produced uh, by Yusuke uh, Hashimoto. Born in 75. Yeah, there's just born. born there's no deads here. Yeah. Director H Hideki Kamiya. So presumably <laughs> these people haven't died yet. K Kamiya is regarded as one of probably the best uh, devs for game or directors for games ever. 
Oh, that was piss. <laughs> yeah, it's a guy pissing on his grave. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Eggman's in this game? <laughs> I was going to call him Penguin, but yeah. Drop off the merchandise. <laughs> I don't know. Reading the good lord's book ain't gonna do much. <laughs> oh god. People have been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Should we know this voice actor? This no, voice actor. But he's familiar. amazing. <laughs> There's no love loss for all Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> but you got Oh, I think Eggman's the dead guy. Oh. We don't Rest in peace. They take care of us. Rest in peace, Robotnik. I like that we've just got this weird mafia man. Mafia versus witches or something. I guess. He sounds like Joe Pesci. Like somebody doing a Joe Pesci. No, it's like somebody doing a Joe Pesci impression. If it were me... He said Jesus, so Jesus was in this setting at some point. <laughs> Wait, barb He was trying to make an egg joke and he said barbecued. I gotta assume that's intentional. I guess. Is he describing having cooked a man alive? No, it's because he's an egg. <laughs> he's the egg man or whatever. I want to see. Open. Cute little fuckers, I tell you what. Open He's got the kids. coffin. Well, He's a family you. man. Adios. Who's going to bury it? You're just going to leave her to do it herself? This weird giant skeleton woman? What? <laughs> this is just like... <laughs> Oh, that's cursed. That's 2,000 years of family curse, probably. I don't know what happens if you destroy a tombstone. Descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh my god! God. Is this a waifu? I don't know who this is. Is this Jesus' waifu? Maybe. Oh, I'm gonna guess that ain't. <laughs> like. Mm. Oh, she dropped that Bible. Right in the in, mud. Yeah. Is that 200 years of curse? Getting a Bible muddy? Could be. <laughs> He's as confused as we are. So I she was like reading passages out of a book? What? For, for, um, a dead guy, and then angels showed up to take him to heaven. Did she just turn that, that monster into Capri Sun? I think so. Third Sphere Affinity Angels. <laughs> this is the kind of confusion feeling that usually is pretty good. It's <laughs> She's like, beating him up now. It's like, I feel good that I'm confused right now. I think... But I hope that's not how the whole game feels. I think... That that is Bayonetta. <laughs> I was wondering. I'm gonna guess because she's about nine heads tall and maybe fifteen feet. <laughs> like, she's canonically like like ten feet tall, by the way. Is that normal? Uh, I don't know. Cause I know that these graphics are a little dated now, but like she doesn't actually look that good. Cause like we can see every curve, and I'm like, is that all? <laughs> so it's it's this this Joe Pesci guy's birthday, and he's really worried because there's like the angels everywhere. <laughs> oh shit! It's like Sonic 06 Robotnik. I guess not. <laughs> it's like Robotnik the Terminator. <laughs> Next time. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is Nick Fury doing here? I don't know. It, it is. It's a good confusing. Samuel L. Jackson as uh, Dr. Robotnik in the Sonic movie. His name's Rodin. Or, or Rodan. Rodan? Okay. It sounded like he said Rodan, but that's not what was written there. How did you even attempt to kill this magic man? 
I'm gonna guess that they po they they lied about the whole thing. Oh yeah, no, that's probably what happened. This this could have easily been a setup. <laughs> she just suplexed like eight angels. Is that what a suplex looks like? Yeah, when you grab something and then you do well, that's a like an a reverse suplex what? when you like grab them and flip uh, them. Do down. we need to like censor those parts? No, it should be fine. Nothing okay. shown. Yeah, I just I I ask mostly in case no, you need it's me cool. to do Don't any worry. graphical stuff. No, I think it's fine. Okay. <laughs> there better be vampires in this setting. I Everything hope going so. on here seems extremely vampire. <laughs> Guns. This is like if someone. Oh, what the? Fuck? <laughs> Welcome to waifu. Yeah, one. camera angle. <laughs> This is like if someone took Underworld, the movie, and, like, fucked the aspect ratio so everyone's really tall. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, also, the music in this is absolutely fucking amazing, by the way. Like, every song from this game. <laughs> I got, everyone's talking over it, so I'll just take your word for it. Yeah, don't worry. This, this is literally just Fly Me to the Moon. Oh, okay. But, like, really anime. <laughs> She's got guns on her feet. <laughs> so, the one thing that I had been told um, about Bayonetta after seeing her in yeah. uh, Smash, and it was like, oh, well, she's got her ass up in the air all the time, and I was like, that apparently, yeah. like, you've told me this game isn't actually that sexualized. I don't actually is know. What, what I, I've you heard, heard that it's not. This is what I've heard. Uh, guns. It's, the cameraman doesn't know that. It, she, she's just going through these fucking guns. Do, do they only have one hit each? Uh, healing items are candy, I think. So, like, even, like, if we assume that some of her poses are just, oh, this is what you would do if you were in this fight using her style of fighting or whatever, it's like, or the something. camera is clearly focusing on a lot of things, and it's like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. You know what? I don't think it actually is unsexualized. It's like, I think they knew what they were doing. I, I'm not even sure to be real. Uh, although, as much as I enjoy spiders, I feel like these legs are actually a little unsettling to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into too. stick. I see it too. Okay, here we go. Now we got movement. Uh, so again, jump. Uh, this is a kick. Uh, ooh, okay, now what? it's going to explain things, oh, okay. too. okay. So, uh, there's Y for punching. Which is just literally... It's just a punch. Okay. <laughs> and if you combo it, uh, right. because it's third-person action, there's actual combos that'll go off, and it turns into a grab where you're just beating them up. I like how there were, like, feather particles coming off of the angel when you hit it. Yeah, I like that, too. Like, it's cartoonish, but it's like, so you know, reminder, kicks. this is like an angel with yeah. angel wings. <laughs> he throws up when you kick him. Oh, cool. Did you see that? Like, if you kick him in the stomach, you just, like... <laughs> I mean, gross, He's an but angel, an though, touch. so there's nothing there. He's just, like, throwing up light, I guess? Is her target reticle a lipstick mark? Uh, yeah, it looks like a kiss mark. That's weird a little bit because she uses oh, guns did. it could have just nice. been a target uh so then you have combos on top of that so it's like that that that's a that's a launcher so that's you get him into the air with that one uh the button for kick is an icon for a high heel <laughs> yeah well because she uses high heels i mean i that's a thing that a lot of people yeah, like <laughs> i'm just gonna so one, leave one two it three that. is a big hit and then should be if you chain two of these together and then go into a... Yeah, okay. I'm just kind of, like, looking at some of these real fast. Uh, let's see. Left... Why does it say left stick? Is that... It's like a turn? Oh, it's... No? Like an auto turn? I'm confused. Huh. You have to get every single combo for it to get you out of here? No, no, no. I, I can leave at any time. I'm just okay. trying to figure out what things are. I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I, I can't figure out what that's supposed to be for. It's not a press or anything like that. That's kind of annoying, honestly. Maybe you gotta do it while she's at a certain frame in her turn. Maybe? 
I don't know. There's there's a lot of these that that look more complex than I was expecting them to be for the most part, and I'm just looking at them and I'm like, oh no, I don't know if I can do these things. <laughs> I mean, I hope I can. Okay, so when he's in the air, there are specific things that you can throw out, like uh, punch, punch, kick, punch, <laughs> like that. But it's like in order to get him up there, you've got to do that twice, and then you got to be able to get the other stuff going. You know what? I take back half of what I said about her legs. When she's standing like a person, looks fine. From a distance, looks fine. Yes, she's like got weird proportions, but like, I mean, she still looks person enough. Uh, it's when she squats or does anything where her knees are anywhere near her head. It's like, holy shit, that's a crab monster. Yeah, a little bit. It's like, so long as she doesn't squat, oh, she it. looks fine. I gotta fine. get the timing good, otherwise I'm gonna be really messed up later. There we go. Okay. Okay. So she's just gotta dodge, and it's good to know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be more difficult when you get multiple enemy types oh, and you God. gotta figure out their cues. Oh, hmm. messed it up. <laughs> okay. Uh. You gotta dodge at the last possible second, apparently. Ah, uh, I, I keep messing it up because I keep expecting it to be on one, and it's it's not. Uh, that is annoying. Ah, uh. I'm getting a better look at these weird DNA glyphs. They're neat. There we go. Enemies will appear to move in slow motion for a set period of time. This is part of her final smash, right? Yeah, her final smash is uh, partly that, but also if you dodge and smash at the right moment, you can do witch time just normal. I forget that there's even a dodging mechanic yeah, there in is. smash. Like, I know there is one, but it's like, I never dodge. But I'm not, like, pro tier. A very rare spiritual metal containing the essence of an angel's life force, used in business transactions within the Inferno. Oh, I like that idea. <laughs> so halos are rings that you pick up off of enemies that you can use as currency. If you get a hundred, you get an extra life. Yeah, and if Bayonetta gets hit, all of her rings fall out. <laughs> but also the idea that oh, those okay. were literally rings, yes. Yeah. Uh, oof. I hope that doesn't show up. No, it, it doesn't. It's just our TV. Okay, yeah, there was a weird flicker. Yeah, our, our TV had a weird flicker for a second. All those rings that came out of the enemies. Yeah. Did you see that? I like the idea that halos are currency for demons, though, or whatever. Like, that's kind of a neat idea. Yeah, I like it. It's good. It's, it's actually that. <laughs> this is a decent game so far. Yeah. I was saying a lot of is this Dark Souls at the beginning, but it's actually much more colorful, much more dynamic. I'm assuming, I haven't held the controller, but I'm assuming it controls better. Oh yeah, no, it's, yeah. it controls pretty well. It's a third person action game, but it's very, um, it's very mobility oriented. Oh, I'm stuck behind a thing and I didn't realize. What was that you just did? She got wings? Yeah, if she jumped, uh, you have a double jump, which is pulling out wings. Huh. Which is something you can do in Smash. That's what your uh, your double jump in Smash is. Oh, okay. I don't remember if I've ever played as her in Smash. And I think your triple jump is just turning into bats, if I remember correctly. I don't I don't quite remember. I think what I need to do is start uh, taking advantage of the witch time thing. Probably. I mean, it's in here. It's supposed to be good. I'm sure they're going to need you to use it. It's eggs. Neat. Yeah, this game seems to be, so far, um, a lot oh, of the things uh, I kind of demanded that Dark Souls should have been. Oh, I, I did what it asked me to before it asked me oh, to do okay. it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so shoot your way out of combo by holding Y or B. So you can actually, I was I was hitting X that entire time. Huh. Uh, X just pulls out your gun automatically, I think. That's the only thing that X does is gun. There's no punch or oh, kick okay. to it. But apparently you can hold uh, punch or kick and pull out guns as well. Oh. That kind of explains the foot guns. Yeah, it does. I like that. That's nice too. Uh, rotate left stick and press uh, A or B. Oh god. Uh, to fire at all enemies. What? I... Oh, it's only one rotation? 
No? Okay, hold huh. on. Uh... Oh, like that. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> Once activated, aim and fire at will. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. It's just a thing you can do. <laughs> Do so we have we try a, this again. Um, uh, Do we have uh, rules we want to go by for like controller passing? Uh, yeah. If you want to pass the controller, just tell me and we will. Yeah. Uh, we can do it on death. That, that's fine. Yeah, on death sounds good. I wasn't sure if you were gonna want to or not. So. Um. Well, I'm gonna not interrupt you on the tutorial, and then you're just gonna have to re-explain it to me yeah, whenever I'll, I do hold the thing. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Sure. But um, other than the weird things where it's like she's shooting okay. from Do behind and the cameraman wants to check her, her vagina, um, <laughs> like, I like the idea of, oh, you, it's a game with, like, this weird spooky aesthetic, but not everything is a shitty gray. And the controls seem to be oriented towards the kind of action they want you to do. And you play as a spider-like witch creature. It's like, you know what? That sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, we just don't need the weird colon camera thing. Yeah, it's a little strange. Oh, crap. If anything, it emphasizes the thing about her legs that I don't like. What the fuck? I went into the, the big thing. Yeah, no, I mean, like, the poses she does. Oh, yeah, it, some of them are weird. Especially if you're using her leg ones. Because she has to do a handstand to, like, do the it's big... It's like they don't seem to be actually easier or better in any way than just shooting things. It's like, if anything, some of this is just taking more Watch effort and, and focus that she could be using Aww. for other stuff. Alright, fine. <laughs> there. <laughs> Fucking angels. Oh, the Pesci guy's crying. I forgot he was even alive. Yeah, they told him to get the hell out of the way because uh, Rodin or, or Rodin or whatever the guy's name was, he said that it, it would be more effort to go to hell to pick up the money you owe me if you're dead. So literally it's it's just like, oh, you're, you're worthless when you're dead. Sure. Uh, hold A to extend your jump and press A to do an execute a double jump. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's how video games work, yeah? <laughs> did she just fuck up a car? She sure fucking did. did that? I just the yeah. <laughs> it's yours now, Bayonetta. Drive the car into space. Haven't you figured it out yet? There's uh -oh. no quarter for you in this world. What? I don't know. I hope this car gets more fucked up as we fight around it. I mean, Ooh, if we fight giant here, enemy. yeah. Slightly different. He doesn't have feathers in his wings. Which is unusual, actually. Uh, kind of. You'd think it would be for, for angels, yeah, right? Yeah, because it looks like he just has weird steampunk hooks. Uh, they still work like wings, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Maybe they don't actually need the wings to fly. They're like an ornament that they keep on. Yeah, like they're just there for aesthetic purposes yeah. or whatever. Per like, possibly, yeah. Yeah. You've already got, like, 2,000 rings. Yeah, hell is an expensive place. I guess. <laughs> I guess, like... I wonder if they're just giving us a lot because it's the tutorial. It, that's probably all that it is. Because ah. I just got a bronze medal. So, okay. like... Uh, Radon should be paying me for even... Radon. You have any idea how much this is Are those not her normal things? guns? I guess not. Why do I always get wrapped up in this shit? <laughs> Aww. Ed and Edna. What does that mean? I don't know. Is this guy Ed? Maybe. Oh, his name's Enzo. That wouldn't really... That wouldn't abbreviate to Ed, would it? No, it wouldn't. <laughs> oh, he can't see him. Yeah. 